guys, thank you for joining me with Art Sphere today. We are going to be doing um, one of our worksheets to continue our explore exploration through art. We're going to be making a pattern necklace today. So if you go on um, the link we have on our video or on our blog post, you can get this handout, print it out, and follow along. So you're going to need this and then either um, crayons, markers, or colored pencils, and a pair of scissors as well as um, a, a piece of string or yarn at the end. And then if you have a hole puncher, that would be great. If not, you can use your scissors. Just make sure you have adult supervision. So first we're gonna learn about patterns. And patterns are basically just a repeating design. So a design of something that happens over and over again. And so here, if you look at this, we can look at all the random shapes and see if we can come up with a pattern. So we'll just start at one point. And so we do square, triangle, circle, star, square, triangle, circle, star, square, triangle, circle, star, square, triangle, circle, star. Does that sound like a pattern to you guys? We can do it another way and do a circle, triangle, square, star, Circle, triangle, square, star. Circle, triangle, square, star. So as you can see, it repeats in the same order four times. And that is how you make a pattern. So we want to do this with you guys to make a pattern. You're gonna flip that sheet over or if you printed it out on two, that's perfect. And you are gonna color in the shapes you have on this side and cut those out. So we are going to make our own pattern. And you can do these in um, all different colors. Your pattern can be based off of color. So you can have blue, red, green, and it doesn't matter what shape it is. Or it can be based off the shape and it doesn't matter what color it is. Or you can base it off the shape and the color. So all your shapes can be the same color and you could do it that way. So whatever you guys want to do, it's up to you. I think I'm gonna do one, um, shape has, each, each shape has one color, or each shape has a different color. Um, so let's see, oh. So patterns are basically up to you guys. It can be as complex or as simple as you want, even if you have a circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. That is a pattern. Or if you have a really, really long one, like um, triangle, square, star, circle, triangle, square, star, circle. As long as it repeats at some point, it is a pattern. And patterns are also, this word is used in your everyday life. So I have a pattern or a habit, something I repeat every day. So we know these as habits, as I just said, but we can also call it a pattern. Like I have a pattern of brushing my teeth when I wake up and when I go to bed and I repeat it every day. So it is a pattern. Or you can walk the park in a certain pattern. You follow the same path every day and it repeats. So you have um, your, your pattern that you walk in the park. You might also notice patterns around you, like if you're in someone's house or on the floor tiles or um, in a fancy building or church, you might see patterns on the ceilings or on the walls, definitely on um, your blankets or your sheets, things like that. There's always patterns on those. So patterns show up wherever you are. Um, in nature and in um, buildings, 
So just keep an eye out for that this week since we're learning about patterns throughout your day. See if you can spot any patterns. All right, I have my colors. If you do too, go ahead and cut those out. And I'm just gonna cut mine in columns so that it's easier for me to cut it out. All right, I have all of mine cut out. And now it is up to me to decide how I want to make my patterns. So I might want to do it um, on the table first. Alright guys, so we have this pile of circles here, my pile of stars, my triangles, and my squares. So it is up to me to see how I want to design my pattern. Um, and again, as I said, I could do um, all blues first so I could take my blues and put them here like this and then do all the purples and do it that way or I could do it by shape um, so I could do all the stars together or I could just mix it up and we can start and just do um, a pattern by the shapes, which is what I'm gonna do. So I could be doing um, square, triangle, star, circle. Yeah, so we're gonna do square, triangle, star, let's do a different color, star, circle. As you can see, my, let's get that up there. my pattern is not following the colors because all the colors in, are not in order because it's orange, purple, pink, blue, pink, orange, blue, pink. So obviously my colors are not in order, but my pattern is. So just make sure you have a pattern you want to go with. Again, I'm going to do square, triangle, star, Circle, square, triangle, oh, triangle, star, circle. And there is my pattern. So now that I have my pattern, I'm going to take my scissor and on that hole punch. And I'm going to hole punch in each pattern, in each shape. And I'm going to put it onto a string. Like a necklace, actually. Here. So I'm gonna try to do it all together so that it is a little faster. So I'm lining this up, and then I'm just gonna poke a hole through the center. Obviously, you have a whole punch. Is that? You don't have a hole punch. Use a carrot. All right, guys. If you have your shapes on a string, I have mine. They're all bunched up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and spread them out. So I'm gonna make sure I still have my pattern: square, triangle, star, circle. Okay, square. Triangle star circle, yep. Just gonna try to spread these out evenly. And there is my necklace, which is hard to see, but if you look at it like this, you can see, see your pattern shapes. And then you're just gonna go ahead and reach around, tie it like this around your neck, measure it, get a parent to help you. And now you have your own patterned necklace that you guys made your own patterns 
So now this is a good way to remember um, what a pattern is, something repeating, because you have your shapes that are repeating at least four times. And you can also go ahead and use your own shapes to do this. You can use hearts, you can use um, ovals or rectangles and make your own jewelry or necklaces or bracelets. You can do this with um, colors of beads, any kind of um, object you can make a pattern out of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, were able to follow along and learn a little bit about patterns as well as make your own necklace. And I hope you guys are able to join me for the next lesson. Thank you. Have a great day.